Hey guys, Laurie from Shed3D here. So today we're gonna check a very interesting function of Shed3D. It's the curved surface modeling. And we're gonna make a chair. We're gonna review some of the old techniques such as the sweep and the memorize function. And to finish, we're gonna play with the lights and we're gonna check the distribution light. First, let's create a closed line. With this closed line, on the front view window, we are going to trace the shape of our chair from a side view. Once I'm done, I still can edit my line by pressing the M key and start to edit my points vertices. Then I will create a curved surface port from the port menu and drag and drop my two lines in this folder. You can see that a surface is now formed based on the two shapes of our two closed lines. I still can manipulate my vertices once the surface is created. A cool option, if I want to add thickness to my surface, is precisely the Thickness option here in Modify Surface. We've been through this with Beluga, his interview, in our previous interview tutorial video, but let's check again how to use the sweep and memorize tools in order to create the legs of our chair that will basically be two tubes. Let's create one open line shaped as how I want my chair's legs to look like. Now let's create a circle and place it at the starting point of my legs line. We need some few adjustments here, rotation, shape, scale. Let's convert this circle into a line object and memorize our line as the path that this circle will use to form our chair's leg. I select my circle and press sweep and here is my leg. I will place it at the precise spot I want it to be and duplicate it in order to create one more leg. To create a fit, you will need to use the revolve function, also seen with Beluga and the glass tutorial. You will basically have to revolve a simple line and duplicate four times the result to create four fit for your chair's legs. In order to create your line, use your newly created chair's leg as a reference for the sides, even though you can scale it afterward. Let's quickly create and place a ground under our chair. Okay, an interesting light in shade is this distribution light here. If I move it around my chair, you can notice how shadows change and how I can modify its intensity and its color when I input different values.
In order to understand its properties, let's create a sphere and increase its transparency properties in the surface panel. Now, I will place my distribution light inside my sphere. It almost looks like a light bulb. Ok, a quick tip here. If you want the shape of your line that you used to create your chair to be smoother, just go to Modify Surface and click the Smooth and then the Iron button. There, you're going to smooth the shape of your chair in a much more clean line. 